Chapter 362, He Appears. Zijin smiled when he heard this. On the martial arts arena, Li Tie felt the powerful battle intense on Wu Daga's body. A look of doubt appeared in his eyes. It was hard to imagine why Wu Daga, who was half dead just a moment ago, had suddenly become so confident. Even those bigwigs of the Great Tang Country who were watching the battle from the stands revealed a look of surprise. Li Tiali, your time to die has come. Wu Daga stepped forward and said in a cold voice. Each step he took spanned several feet, and in the blink of an eye, he had arrived in front of Li Tiali and slashed straight down. Li Tiali had also recovered his true essence at this moment, raising his spear to block horizontally and taking the opportunity to leap high in the air. I don't know where you get your confidence, but I'm afraid you're the one who's going to die today, in mid-air. Li Ti A laughed coldly as he once again performed Divine Dragon Swallowing Sun. The huge amount of true essence caused the overlord gun in his hand to emit a dazzling and eye-catching golden light, and a divine dragon roared with fury, vaguely transmitting through the dispersion. Blade Child be careful, Wong Tiaxiong, Wu Gang, and the others on the stands exclaimed. Li Yuanba looked at this scene with a cold smile and said in his heart, Kang Cha, if I can't kill you, I'll kill your disciple first. He's not yet a disciple of the Heavenly Tao sect. Even if I kill you, what can I do? Ha ha, Kang Chia fought with Zhuang Gang and shook the battlefield of righteousness and evil. He was naturally clear about it. He knew that the gap between himself and Kang Chia was getting wider and wider. And in his heart, he had already given up on killing Kang Chia long ago and was only thinking of taking revenge on Kang Chia. By chance, he heard that Kang Tiur had taken a named disciple in the Great Tang Kingdom, which instantly made his heart to kill. But he couldn't strike on his own, so he used all his efforts to cultivate Li Tiali, for the sake of today. Looking at Li Tiali, who was preparing to perform Divine Dragon's Hollowing Sun in the Sky, Li Yuanba knew that the severely injured with Dagger would not be able to resist this move no matter what. While Li Yuanba was laughing coldly, on the martial arts arena, Wu Daga looked at Li Tiadi in mid-air. His face not only did not have the slightest fear, but also revealed a hint of a mocking cold smile. This is your own way of seeking death, humph. Wu Daga coldly laughed, at this moment to cast a heaven-escaping hand. It was the right time, later even if Li Tia was able to block the heaven-escaping hand. He would be injured by the backlash of his own divine ability. Thinking about it, Wu Daga let out a low roar, heaven escaping hand. Although it was the first time he had performed the heaven tackling hand, and it wasn't very pure yet. The power of the heaven tackling hand, it was definitely not something to be reckoned with. In the midst of everyone's shouts of surprise, a huge palm suddenly appeared behind Li Tiali, then in front of everyone, he fiercely clenched it. Boom, an explosion rang out. Li Chenyi's divine dragon swallowing sun, which he hadn't yet had the chance to blast out, directly exploded in tackling heaven's hand. And he, himself, was at the center of the explosion, suffering his strongest strike. Boom, a shocking explosion violently erupted with the grip of tackling heaven's hand. A loud, deafening sound resounded throughout the entire martial arts arena. Everyone's eyes were wide open and filled with shock. Li Tiali, who was in the midst of the explosion, landed on the ground covered in blood. He struggled to get up, but he spewed out a mouthful of blood, obviously heavily injured. Heaven tackling hand? Someone in the crowd exclaimed, and then the entire martial arts arena was in an uproar. As Kang Chion's famous technique, the might of the heaven escaping hand, that was known to everyone in the Great Tang Country. No one would forget this terrifying divine ability. But with Kang Chou worshipping the Heavenly Tao sect, they had never seen the might of the Heaven Escaping Hand again. Now, the Heaven Escaping Hand was instead being performed by Wu Daga, and the shock was still strong, as if the Overlord had reappeared with unrivaled might. Truly worthy of being a little Overlord, someone marveled. 
With this divine ability, in the young generation, there should be no enemy. Even the high and mighty lord of the great Tang Kingdom gazed up. It occurred to him that Kang Chou had taught Wu Daga the heaven escaping hand. So this Wu Daga was truly his personal disciple, so it seemed necessary to pull Wu Daga in. As the lord of a country, he had always looked far ahead. Congratulations, congratulations. On the stands, the Qian family head, Jenin King, and the others, all congratulated Wu Kong, their eyes filled with envy. Previously, they thought that Wu Blade was just Kang Chong's nominee disciple. But now that the heaven escaping hand was out, they knew that he must be a personal disciple. Or else how could Kang Chia pass on such a powerful divine ability to Wu Blade? Wu Kong's face was full of dizziness, he froze there at once, as far as he knew. Kang Chia did not pass on his son's heaven escaping hand or, otherwise he wouldn't have been unaware of it. Could it be that Kang Chia came back once and secretly taught this brat? Humph, brat, even old dad had to hide it. Wu Gang secretly thought. He felt that it was Wu Dagger who had learnt the heaven escaping hand a long time ago, only that he had been hiding it from him. However, he was very happy. Heaven escaping hand, ah, the absolute divine ability that many people in the great Tang country envied. Now that his son also knew it, he thought that in the future, he would become the second overlord of the great Tang country. Wu Gang was secretly happy in his heart, stop. However, right at this moment, a loud roar shook the sky, scaring Wu Gang and the others. The crowd hurriedly looked, but they were stunned, only to see that on the martial arts arena, Wu Dagger launched an attack against the incapacitated Li Tiali, slashing down towards him. Instantly, the blade blazed, bloodlight burst out, and a bloody head was thrown up high. The entire martial arts arena was silent. Everyone stared at this scene in disbelief. No one had expected that Wu Dao would still do this to Li Tiali after achieving victory. This was completely out of the expectation of everyone present, so much so that even Li Yuanba and the state lord did not react. By the time Li Yuanba was exposed and got up, Wu Daga had already handily slain Li Tiali, leaving only a headless stump of a body. Kneeling on one knee in the martial arts arena, his body still bleeding. Kid, I told you to stop. Li Yuanba's face was full of rage, like a furious tiger. In his angry eyes, a deterrent cold light flashed. He stared dead on at Wu Knife below. A terrifying aura of mighty pressure came. Feeling this powerful aura, Wu Dagger's body instantly trembled, and he couldn't help but kneel on one knee. But he still clenched his teeth and held on for dear life as he coldly raised his head to look at Li Yuanba. Who do you think you are? Stop when you tell me to stop. Humph. Kid, you're looking for death. Li Yuanba was furious at his words. His body disappeared with a brush. And then, not far away from Wu Dagger, an explosion rang out, and the two figures fell back on each other. It was Li Yuanba who suddenly launched an attack on Wu Dagger, but was blocked by the state lord, and the two of them sparred with each other, and each of them retreated backwards. However, from the distance that both sides retreated, it was still evident that the state lord was not as strong as Li Yuanba. State lord, do you really want a medal? Li Yuanba stopped not far away and said in a chilling voice. Nowadays, he was no longer afraid of the great Tang state lord, after all. Whether it was his identity in the heavenly Tao sect or his own strength, it was not something that a small state lord could shake. Li Yuanba, if you want to bully the small with the big, you still have to ask if this young man agrees. The state lord did not speak, he just frowned. A few figures rushed out from the stands. It was Chen Sanxiao, Wu Gang Wong Tai Xiong, and the others who came. They shielded themselves in front of Wu Dagga and gazed coldly at Li Yuanba. The atmosphere of the martial arts arena was suddenly tense. A group of strong Li clan members also appeared behind Li Yuanba, glaring viciously at Chen Sanxiao and the others. Chen Sanxiao, what does this have to do with you? Li Yuanba stared coldly at Chen Sanxiao 
A trace of scorn flashed in his eyes, regardless of Chen Sanxiao's relationship with Kang Chia. Chen Sanxiao's own strength wasn't weak, although it was a little bit worse than him. But if he joined hands with the state lord, he would still be able to threaten him. This kid is my brother's disciple. That means he is also my disciple. Do you think I cannot intervene? Qian San Xiao laughed coldly. I say Li Yuanba, you're really getting more and more alive. You can't beat my brother yourself. But you still want to bully my brother's disciple with a big one. The face of the great Tang country's cultivation world has been disgraced by you. Qian San Xiao's words were so venomous that it almost made Li Yuanba so angry that he spat out blood, he roared. I'm bullying the small with the big. It was agreed that it was just a sparring match, since he won and still didn't stop. State Lord, you said that you were the one who set the rules before. Li Yuanba coldly looked at the State Lord. A dot 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 double quotes the State Lord was a little embarrassed. Honestly speaking, this time, it was indeed that Wu Daga did not take advantage of the situation. However, Wu Daga was after all Kang Chong's disciple. If he let Li Yuanba kill him, even if Kang Cha did not look for trouble from him, the relationship that he had managed to pull together with great difficulty would also go down the drain. Cutting and dicing. What kind of bullshit dicing? A battle of life and death is inevitably a little bit of death and injury. You Li Yuanba at least also mixed in the battlefield of righteousness and evil. Those devilish powerhouses will leave you alive after defeating you. Qian San Xiao skimmed his mouth and said, he was already considered to be messing around. After all, Li Tia was not a devil path powerhouse anymore. So you guys are protecting him to the end. Li Yuanba said morosely, he could sort of see that there was no reasoning with Qian San Xiao. Looks like your brain is not too stupid. Qian San Xiao mocked, you, Li Yuanba was so furious that he was on fire. A blazing light shot out around him, and a terrifying aura erupted, sweeping across the entire martial arts arena. Everyone could not help but tremble when they felt this terrifying pressure. Qian San Xiao and the others, their faces also became grave. Li Yuanba floated high in the air, coldly looking down at Qian San Xiao and the others below, and said in a cold voice, Today, He's dead. I want to see how you guys can stop me. He had absolute confidence, as an invincible powerhouse at the outbreathing stage. Trying to kill a little guy at the Jidan stage was still a breeze. Even Chen Sanxiao couldn't stop him. Li Yuanba, the Heavenly Dao sect prohibits killing each other. Do you want to be called by the law enforcement disciples to drink tea? Chen Sanxiao's face changed slightly as he drank coldly. Humph, he's not a disciple of the Heavenly Tao sect. Killing is just killing. What can the law enforcement disciples do to me? Li Yuanba laughed coldly, slowly approaching, a huge pressure that enveloped the entire fighting arena. Some of the people who were watching the battle had already withdrawn from the fighting arena. They couldn't stand the terrifying pressure. No one can protect him today. Li Yuanba stepped down into the air and along with his footsteps, a heavy sense of oppression spread out. Qian San Xiao, the state lord, Wu Gang and the others, surrounded Wu Daga and looked at the approaching Li Yuanba with a grave expression. You guys can't stop me. Li Yuanba gazed at them and laughed coldly. Then can I stop you? Right at this moment, an ice gold voice came out, a voice that was clear and cold, but it clearly reached the ears of everyone present. In the middle of the crowd, Kang Chia walked slowly, taking a step into the air and instantly appeared opposite Li Yuanba, beside him. Zi Jin also came instantly and was looking at Li Yuanba with a cold smile on his face. Yu Li Yuanba's aura instantly dissipated, and he was shocked to realize that he could not move. Kang Chia, Tiana, Chen San Xiao, Wong Tai Shong, and the others exclaimed in shock followed by excitement. Hearing them say Kang Chon's name, the entire fighting arena instantly boiled over. All of them looking at Kang Chen in the sky with hot adoration, excited and exhilarated. 
No one would have thought that Kang Chao would appear at this time. Even Li Yuanba did not expect it, and the crowd of Li clan members behind him were all trembling as they looked at Kang Chia and Zi Jin, their eyes showing fear. Li Yuanba, it seems that my brother hasn't beaten you scared last time. Zi Jin sneered as he pointed out a finger, and the finger on asterisk 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 came out, piercing through a Li clan powerhouse behind Li Yuanba on the spot, decapitating him. Li Yuanba's face changed, but he didn't dare to make a move. At this moment, the aura of Kang Tia and Zi Jin, to great rounded powerhouses of the outbreathing stage, suppressed him to death. He couldn't even speak.